What's going on, Drunken Reunion? <laughs> it's been a fucking great year. The playoffs are fucking upon us. We had the first round bye week games last week. What games they were. Fucking uh, teats and not the fucking breeze uh, on your ass crack. Just escaped a crazy Monday night game. Uh, Foster got taken out in the blowout. And Teets ends up winning by four points to advance to play me. And then uh, another game, Chicken and Watermelon, and Rory just completely dismantled uh, PK. PK, God, had a terrible week and got destroyed. Anyway, so he comes up to take on uh, Bronx and La Cosa Nostra. So Hunt versus PK is in a consolation, sort of, is it really a consolation? I don't know what the fuck game it's called. Um, not really a big deal. I think PK's team is destroyed. Hunt had a bad week uh, and still lost. Well, he had actually a good week and still lost. But I'm going to take Hunt in this, uh, to win that matchup. Laffy versus uh, Jimmy in the, the mortal rematch of terrible teams. Laffy has benched all his players. I think he's benching all his players because he doesn't actually want to lose to Jimmy and then give Jimmy a bunch of uh, shit-talking, I guess, criteria to have or some shit. I don't know. So he's based all his players except for the Longhorns, Justin Tucker. Tucker's the man. Um, so obviously Jimmy wins by about 100 in that game. Uh, Berkey versus Gimmins. Who cares, I guess. I hope a bomb goes off, kills both these teams. Both those guys suck ass at fantasy football and life in general. Um, anyway, let's get to the uh, big matchups this week, the semifinals. In the first one, we got number six seed Roy versus number two seed Bronx. Uh, Roy, you got Sidney Rice, who's questionable this week. Uh, not a big deal. The guy fucking sucks ass anyway. Want some beer, baby? No, just kidding. Uh, anyway, Spiller for you, Roy, is now the full-time running back again with Fred Jackson out for the year. That is a big monster boost for you. I think he's going to have a monster game, maybe three touchdowns. AJ Green has a big game every week, so I'm expecting another big ass game. I do believe they play tonight. We'll get to that in a little while. Uh, Marty B over Vernon Davis, Rory. I guess you don't like Vernon Davis too much, but I was I would play Vernon D. That's just me though. Uh, Bronx, LaShawn McCoy out. That's a major loss for you tonight. Uh, Steven Jackson and Luck are both probable. Luck's a backup on your team anyway. Steven Jackson, he might Fill a spot. We'll get to that later. Uh, Doug Martin has a great matchup versus New Orleans. I think he's going to have a couple TDs. That guy has just come out of nowhere from Boise. Fuck Boise State, actually. Fuck those fucking white premises motherfuckers. I hate them. Uh, anyway, you got your big matchup is probably uh, Matt Ryan versus your G women. So we'll see how that one treats you. You kind of want Matt Ryan to do well for your fantasy team, but you're playing your team. Uh, I don't know. That's We'll get to that later as well. Uh, but you have Denario Alexander in your flex spot over Cobb. It uh, looks like uh, your boy David Wilson the Giants is going to be the running back this week with Bradshaw. It looks like he's not going to play. Or Steven Jackson we talked about earlier. But you got Denario Alexander. He's been playing pretty good there in San Diego, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, my pick for this game is Rory. I think he squeaks out a close win. 129 to 126, Rory wins it. Uh, and then the last semifinal matchup is Teets. No, not the breeze on my ass crack. Uh, no major injuries. He's looking extremely healthy. Uh, Vincent Jackson has a great matchup versus the Saints this week. The Saints have a terrible defense. If fucking uh, douchebag Freeman can get the ball in the air, I look for Freeman to have at least two touchdowns. Uh, and vice versa on that, the freaking uh, goddamn Buccaneers have a terrible defense. And they're playing Breeze, who you have, of course, with your name. I think Breeze has four touchdowns this week. Monster fucking week. Reggie Bush has a great matchup with Jacksonville. Jacksonville is the worst in football, possibly. I think Bush could have two touchdowns, 150 yards, monster day out of him. That little... That'd be me. I got Gronk doubtful. He ain't gonna fucking play with his neck, shoulder, back, knee, arm, broken shit. I don't know. Everything's fucking hurt on that guy. Des Bryant's questionable with a broken finger. I think the pussy's gonna give it a go, but 
may not be 100%, well, definitely won't be 100%, so big factor. I do think Chris Johnson on my team has a great matchup. I think that he's playing the Jets. I don't fucking know he's playing. But I look for him to have 125 and a touchdown. Uh, and then I, it looks like I'm going to have to go with Colin Kaepernick at quarterback versus my Patriots. That pretty much game will determine my outcome in my uh, quest to go back to a championship game for the second straight year. In the end, though, I think uh, Teeth beats me because my team's just two injuries. I mean, Dez not being 100% Gronk not playing. That's going to kill my team, and I think it catches up to me this week. So I got Teeth versus Rory in the championship next week, and then me and Bronx in the fucking losers game for 100 bucks or whatever the fuck we play for. Anyway, Merry fucking Christmas, y'all. Love the horse racing. Fucking get some more babies popped out so this kind of, kind of a little play friends and shit. Anyway, I'll see y'all later, maybe next year. Who fucking knows?